So I feel like to some extent, it's good as a consumer to be told like, hey, this is, you should try this, this is what you might like. It kind of just makes it harder to really process and to really decide like, okay, what really actually makes me happy. The companies have to come up with all these different things to basically give people more options. The Pannoni Honors College serves the whole Drexel community in a variety of ways. We have obviously a core group of students who are in our honors program who are the highest achieving students at the university. The pursuit of, of learning and knowledge doesn't end in a classroom. There's a whole variety of special opportunities that only honors students have. Priority registration, access to cultural events in Philadelphia, tours, trips to New York City and Washington, D.C. After I went on the first ASB trip, I told myself that I'd want to go on as many as I could, and I became a, a fundraising leader. It's not common to be able to speak with professors and grad students almost on an, an equal level of understanding about research and topics that maybe you won't get into for years and years unless you have the kind of support the Honors College provides. I became a better writer, just <laughs> rewriting my essay a billion times and having so many people in different offices who are connected to the Honors College read those. So there's been Saturday nights where I'll send a draft of an essay and I've gotten feedback at 10 o'clock on a Saturday. In our Honors program we have students who take colloquia far outside their field of study and learn to love subject matter that they wouldn't normally Take. They get access to some people that they normally wouldn't get in a more traditional classroom setting. Producers of television shows, the president actually of MSNBC, people that have uh, done sort of ghost hunting have come in when we did a class on the paranormal last term. By immersing deeply in a discipline, a student often finds out who they really are, what their passions are, and how they want to spend the rest of their lives. I had the opportunity to go to Ulu, Finland. I was working on the bioremediation of sulfur in mining water. We've seen an enormous increase in numbers of students who are applying for all kinds of national and international awards and getting them. The Honors College really is at this point an advocate for the leading edge of the university. The Pannoni Honors College is now scattered. Uh, across the university. We have these various units, each one doing important work and working together in various ways, but we are not housed under one roof. Our office uh, here located in the bottom floor of Haggerty Library. <laughs> They'll find us in the labyrinth down here. The Honors House is crucial to us because it'll allow us, us, the students we interact with, the people we bring in to all interact, and in large part, the whole point of a culture is to take individuals and show them what they share in common. I think the biggest benefit is going to be to enable us to be located in the same place so that we are sitting together and working together on a day-to-day -day basis. It would open up the Honors College and not make it this big mystery. Having a physical presence would make it more accessible to students who maybe want to join but don't really know how to or where to even begin with that. That really defines the Honors Program student experience. Opportunities to go further and do more. I come from a low-income family that lives paycheck to paycheck. The fact that I got to go to a foreign country and do research there was amazing. But I think of it, again, as an intellectual center, a center for thought and ideas and conversation that once a student walked in the door, he or she would feel the potential of what it means to have a Drexel education.